Statistics show that Lusaka generates about 1 million tons of waste annually, 2,700 tons per day, but only half of this is taken to the designated dump site. For years, waste management has made it one of the greatest challenges facing Lusaka city. Powers of garbage are everywhere and certainly plastic pollution remains a problem in the southern African nation. In view of responding to plastic pollution, a local entrepreneur is turning plastic waste into various value-added products through our waste recycling workshop. The Plastic of Zambia Chief Executive Officer Luenga Molela says it all started upon her developing interest to help conserve the environment through waste collection. Waste that you around. So my initial idea was to collect waste plastic. But then I was like, okay, after we collect it, then what? So having a passion in construction, um, I decided to see how I could convert the plastic waste into construction, alternative construction materials. Uh, predominant we've been using concrete, so I felt that uh, plastic waste was a good alternative to anything that concrete can make. Engineer Mulela has been able to make pavers, fencing poles and flower pots out of recycled plastic materials, explains that her motivation is to help conserve the environment and alleviate climate risks. They are waterproof, they don't allow water to pass through. They are also very, very, they are strong. They will give you 25 MPA uh, on the concrete uh, scale. And they're very durable. As you know, plastic doesn't take less than 500 years to, to decompose. So once you have these yeah, home and dry, when you're moving, if you're in a rented apartment or you want to take them elsewhere, these are very easily removable and taken to other places. And on top of that, remember we are seeing how we are basically we're cleaning up the environment. We are making sure that the plastic that is lying around can be used in something that can make our cities and our homes beautiful. So these are the, the pavers. Other than that, we've been doing flower pots um that are also very very good they're beautiful and uh, we've ventured into pores both uh, fencing pores and tomato pores for years waste recycling has not been given the much needed attention despite having a huge potential for job creation and climate change mitigation although at the moment there are some people who are not in the rush others are in tune that waste is cash that comes in a flash in the outskirts of the city, faced as the Chunga dump site, which sits on a 10 acre land north of Lusaka city, despite burning single use plastic below 30 microns in 2019, Zambia is still choking. First, the waste is sorted to remove rubble and metal and then plastic is baked before the boiling mixture is molded into building blocks. She explains that plastic will always be around, it's the need to continue exploring ways of turning it into other reusable products. At the moment, Marera's bricks are only being used in pathways in small households, but she wants to target big construction companies and her overall objective is to build a road out of plastic. So I started with the pavers, but uh, I think one very big uh, sector we have to start now engaging is the road sector. As you know, roads are expensive to construct, uh, they're expensive to the government, they're expensive to taxpayers. So I'm seeing a situation where moving forward we need to see how we can channel all this waste plastic into road construction. And that should happen very soon. I'm starting to do my experiments and I'm sure by December I would have come up with uh, something viable that can be used for road construction. Lessening the cost and obviously these are durable roads. Every day, waste pickers trudge through the rotten trash, sifting for plastic, but other collectors complain that the money they earn is too little. Then 
Then it was seen be to mascrap, but Tima Gulisa took a package. So apply CD stroke. A funica put tea at one of nice of titties in Halakona can drama can gache, the guy to sing Havana Mazi, Navana school. At the moment, there are only a few manufacturers who are supporting waste recycling initiatives. Prominent among them is the Zambian breweries through the Manja Pamozi project. Recycling. We are recycling. We set up this initiative in 2015. And from that time, there was no known value chain for recycling. And we set, we set up a, a company called, uh, an initiative called Manja Pamozi. But just this year, we have now converted that, uh, transformed that uh, project into a separate standing, uh, standing entity, Manjapam, Manjapamozi Foundation uh, Limited. What Manjapamozi is doing is, in short, creating wealth from waste. We believe that there is nothing that can be wasted. Our packaging uh, containers, when they go into, into the trade, people consume our produce. We know that those bottles, the cartons, they remain in, in the trade. Those have to come back. Either this, the, the, the technology around the, the, the packaging material itself, where it should be um, returnable, RGB. But we've also got in our stream um, the one-way, non-returnable bottles, which go, and, uh, uh, which go one way and they don't come back. Those are the most challenging. We need those to come back. So we have now set up uh, Manja Pamozi, over 8,000 direct and indirect uh, beneficiaries. We have about 11 aggregators set up with now about 12 processors. When we began in 2015, there was no processor, no processing. So from the collectors to the aggregators, we're building stock, keeping them, but not adding any value. So we had to invest the first processor in Lusaka West. Through that, other people have copied him and they have set up companies where now they are converting from PET bottles, these PET plastic bottles, they are able to produce a lot of stuff. Plastic is everywhere. We cannot get rid of it. So it starts with me, it starts with everyone. If everyone is picking plastic and if people realize that plastic waste is something that they can raise revenue from, then definitely we're going to find it. We won't find a bottle of plastic, a plastic bottle in the street. Because people who relate this bottle of plastic to money. And uh, hence I'm saying that it's got, it's got uh, capacity to generate employment. It's got a lot of, lot of youths that are do, not doing anything in town. If those guys knew that this plastic bottle is going to give them some money for them to earn a livelihood, to earn income, then believe me, all the streets of Osaka will be. Acknowledge that we've got a lot of companies that are making products out of uh, plastic from uh, water, PET bottles for water, for juice, and uh, these uh, drinks. But what I've seen, there's no connection between them and uh, local recyclers. I know a very few recyclers in Zambia, but there's no direct connectivity. Of course, the companies that have got, uh, I think they've, they've got the pay, uh, I don't know what term you use, but they've got a, situ they've got, um, a structure where they engage companies to collect all, as much PET as you can. But then that is not basically ending coming back to Zambia. Most of it is being exported to countries like South Africa and China. So for me, being a local recycler, I'm urging the corporate world, the corporate, um, the corporate uh, organizations that are producing a lot of plastic waste to acknowledge that we have local recyclers in Zambia who are making an effort to collect as much waste as, as they are producing and see how we can sustainably uh, recycle it into things that we can use. And uh, remember, it just won't end up with me. We will thereby, I think, promote uh, employment creation. As you know, even people that are going to be manufacturing this, thing, helping in the production of these things, uh, basically those are jobs being created. For construction, if if we've got pavers, the installers are all people that we can we can you know engage in terms of uh, youth that need skills for for uh, make uh, for things for installing uh, pavers. So I think there has to be a link between the manufacturers or the producers of plastic and us, the recyclers of plastic, and which I feel is, is not very very. There's no clear direction on, on how this can, on what is happening at the moment. Government led by President Haga Inde Ichilema has introduced the Ministry of Environment and Green Economy. One only hopes such initiatives will be prioritized. <laughs>